everyone. Welcome to Scratch Coding Ninja. Hello everyone. So today's tutorial is going to be about a simple game where it's like a shooting game where you are holding this aiming thing and you want to shoot the ghost. And then it's just it doesn't have any limit, but it's a pretty fun game for me to play. So I hope that you will be in you like this tutorial and let's just start making it so first of all what you want to do is you want to go into this normal scratch place and now what you want to do is you want to just um make the ghost so first of all you just delete this and you choose a sprite and just type ghost Okay, and if you just, and then here we have our ghost. So now, what we do is that we say, when green flag is clicked, um, point in a random direction. So what, in order to do that, we just say point in direction, pick random from 0 to 360. to 360 okay so um this and we want to now have a forever loop where our ghost will just move forward constantly so we'll just say move five steps if on edge bounce so now mm -hmm. Our ghost is bouncing. Okay, I know it's upside down, but yeah, it's still a ghost. Okay, and now what you're gonna do is you wanna go to events. When I receive message shot down, which is gonna be related to our aiming thing. What we want to do is you just want to duplicate this. So now, um, so now that's done. We what we want to do is we want to create an another sprite for our shooting gun thing. So we what we do is we go to paint. Want to create a circle with no fill. So in order, so you can create a circle like this, but if you like, um, just a squash circle. But in order, but to create a perfect circle, you press the shift button. Then you just put it to the center of the screen. And now, what you want to do is you want to create two lines as our aim part, aim thing. So we are so we just draw it we can just increase the thickness of both of them uh, select them okay that should be good so line it back move back and we'll just duplicate duplicate that press shift to make it exactly 90 degrees or 45 degrees and just do a bit of adjustments okay um that should be good and now what i also did is that um y this is optional because it does it's not related to the code but if you want you can just create a little box for to kind of like just you know uh just um aim for the aiming part okay that should be good you can make that smaller as well just just turn this small and that's good that's that should be good and now what you want to do is you just want to say when green flags clicked 
forever if statement for the move movement if um up arrow press then change change y by 10 duplicate that if down arrow press then change y by negative 10 duplicate all of that and if left arrow pressed change y by actually change x by negative 10 and if right arrow press then change x by 10 so now our aiming thing is moving however we cannot shoot because i can't because i mean in this case i use space in order to shoot but when i press space it doesn't work so we'll need to add another command if space key is pressed then what we what we want to do is we want to broadcast a message broadcast shot down so now okay but that doesn't work because i mean that we are almost there well if we constantly shoot it's just gonna start rotating like not the best so we can just click wait for one second so now we can only shoot him once well we can just create put that in another green flag since um we so that we so that our um gun doesn't get frozen but if we just do wait for one second at least we won't be constantly shooting the get um there we go so now as you can see we can move we can shoot and we can't constantly keep shooting like if i hold the space bar it's not like the ghost will just be turning madly we can shoot him once every second minimum so and now let's just make this better so we're just all we're just gonna do is you're just gonna add another back round so what i used was the woods woods and there we go here's our game it's a fun little game so i hope that you like this tutorial and i'll see you next time Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.